Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition, covering the video classes for Biology for Engineers with subject code 21DE45, which is common to all four semester uh, engineering branches of uh, Vishwasharaya Technology University, Belgaum, Karnataka. Okay, so this is module 3, second topic, topic number 2, uh, that is kidney as filter system. Okay, you know where exactly the body part, kidney is the situation in our body and the different uh, anatomy of the kidney is also represented here. We don't want to study in detail of the anatomy, just we should know the uh, things which are there. Uh, the blood, uh, the oxygenated blood passes through even the uh, vein also, artery as well as vein, both travels through the kidney, uh, passes through the kidney. Uh, uh, artery means that is the uh, blood uh, vein or the tube which contains uh, oxygenated blood and uh, vein means that is actually the uh, blood uh, uh, pipe which contains car uh, carbon dioxide. Okay, you can see then it goes to the uh, uterus for the collection of the urine. And where the exchange takes place many things have to that are explained in this particular video. This is to make you people engineers to understand the working of a kidney as well as uh, do work on the artificial uh, related uh, kidneys as well as the other devices which is required to support the functioning of kidney system in case of kidney failure. So it is a highly complicated or complex organ which act as a filtration system in our body. It removes the waste and excess fluid from the bloodstream and uh, maintains the delicate balance of the required electrolytes, the hormones and uh, all the other things which are required for the functioning of uh, our you know, body. Okay, it also plays an important role in uh, regulating the blood plus, uh, pressure, secreting the hormone uh, renin which helps control the balance of fluid and electrolytes in the body. Okay, so without kidney, the waste and the excess uh, fluid uh, will accumulate in our body leading to serious health issues. If you study the architecture of uh, kidney, if you analyze the archi architecture of kidney, kidney composed of the main functional unit which is present in that is nephron. Th that is a basic structural and functional unit of kidney. Each kidney contains approximately 1 million nephron, uh, not 1 nephron, 1 million nephron and each nephron pre performs the same function of filtration, reabsorption or secretion etc. Okay, so what is that nephron which that is situated? So in the kidney structure already we seen. The nephrons are present here in this particular region and its structural uh, arrangement is somewhat like this. It consists of uh, uh, Bowman's capsule, uh, glomerulus, other tubes and uh, the secretion, the passage of the, see the uh, oxygenated uh, blood passes through that even uh, the blood stream which takes the uh, carbon dioxide that also surrounding that one. Okay, so uh, we will see it in detail, this is just representing the kidney and uh, what is, where is that nephron is situated. Now in detail about the nephron, nephron uh, it is the, uh, its key structures are Bowman's capsule. Bowman capsule, it is a cup shaped structure which is, uh, surrounds the glomerulus and filters waste and excess fluid from the bloodstream. So where is that uh, Bowman's capsule? So you can see this is the Bowman's capsule, uh, the structure representation, Bowman's capsule connected to uh, proximal uh, tubule. Okay, so the next one that is glomerulus, a network of tiny blood vessel within the Bowman's capsule which uh, filters waste and excess fluid from the bloodstream. That is called as the uh, glomerulus. This is the bloodstream present inside that Bowman's capsule. Okay, so then uh, proximal uh, convoluted tube. It is a segment of a uh, 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 tubule, renal tubule, which uh, reabsorb the important substances such as glucose, amino acid, and electrolyte back into the bloodstream. So, this particular uh, proximal tube it will uh, reabsorb from that present that electrolyte system, it absorb the required uh, uh, glucose, amino acid, those things will be absorbed. Then, loop of Henle it is a U shaped segment of the uh, renal tube that is critical for the reabsorption of ions and water. Okay, so this is particular that uh, loop of Henle, this U tube, U shaped tube, which will absorb the ions like sodium, potassium, which is needed for our body. It will be absorbing even water also, uh, any required amount of water is needed that also will be absorbed to the uh, to the uh, bloodstream or to the stream using this. 
okay so then um, uh, the distal convoluted tubule is a segment of a renal tubule that uh, regulates the level of electrolyte and other important substance in the bloodstream and then collecting that duct that collect the remaining the waste one which is collected and uh, uh, put into the uh, uh, urinary blood okay so that is the uh, how the nephron uh, the part uh, a single nephron structure it is given here like that millions of nephrons are there in our kidney okay now the mechanism of uh, urine formation uh, uh, urine formation mechanism uh, that is uh, mechanism of filtration filtration as such okay again shown the same structure uh, the uh, Bowman's capsule, uh, the glomerulus, uh, remaining tube, everything. How how it absorbs? So the glomerulus filtration, the water and uh, solutes uh, smaller than a protein are forced through the capillary walls and force of glomerular capsule into the renal tube. That is the part A functioning function of that. At at the part B, the water and glucose amino acids and the needed ions are transported out of the filtrate into the tubule cell and then enter the capillary uh, through the capillary to the blood. That means the passage of blood from the the ions. Uh, this is going to the uh, becoming a urine part. Okay, from that uh, whatever required uh, ions or whatever it is there in that that will be reabsorbed to the bloodstream and uh, the secretion. Uh, uh, the H plus K plus uh, creatinine and drugs are removed from the uh, particular blood and are secreted by the tubule cell into the other unwanted ions uh, are taken back to the uh, to the to the uh, filtrator which we call as the uh, urine. Okay, so the mechanism of filtration kidney it is very complex. Uh, involves several steps like uh, blood enters the kidney through the renal arteries and flows into tiny filtering unit called uh, glomeruli. Then uh, the pressure in the blood vessel causes the portion of plasma and dissolved substance to filter out and enter a structure called the Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule is this particular part. Okay, and then uh, uh, the filtration, uh, filtrate transfer into renal uh, renal tubes, uh, which are uh, the main filtering unit of the kidney. Then uh, further uh, filtration takes place, uh, and uh, uh, we are getting a. Uh, the continuous this process makes the filtration, reabsorption, and secretion helps to maintain the proper balance of fluids and electrolyte in the body, as well as to remove the waste and the excess substances. Okay, so if someone want to uh, recreate uh, this one uh, by doing a research with uh, other materials available, they should know these are the functions which is required for uh, for an artificial uh, kidney. The inner part. Uh, uh, where the if you want to replace the nephron this functions we should uh, remember similar type of uh, action should be the, done in the uh, artificial uh, uh, kidney nephrons if you are planning to do then chronic uh, kidney diseases they stands for uh, the uh, diseases which happens or which is related to the kidney uh, symptoms of uh, the security include the fatigue swelling in legs and feet Trouble in sleeping, uh, difficulty in concentrating. Uh, uh, as it continues, uh, it becomes serious uh, complications such as anemia, nerve damage, uh, and even uh, causes a heart attack or heart stroke. Treatment is the uh, healthy diet we need to maintain. Uh, we have to maintain our uh, body system, food system. We have to control everything. If we control, then we can have control over our kidney. Uh, we can keep our kidney healthy. Uh, if anything happens to the kidney system, then the cure or the purification system, if it is not done properly, then you have to do externally. That is done by a process known as dialysis. Dialysis you have heard, heard about. There are two types of dialysis mainly, hemodialysis uh, as well as uh, the uh, peritoneal dialysis. So hemodialysis is represented here from the, to the bloodstream is taken out and it is uh, filtered the ion exchange reactions everything happens here and uh, fresh air is pumped into that uh, urine uh, formation that uh, form the urine it is collected uh, in a separate uh, separately okay so it's a procedure which uses a machine to clean the blood during hemodialysis blood is removed from body and passed through a dialysis machine which filters out the waste and excess fluid and then return to the body 
uh, it has to be performed uh, in a hospital or a valley center and it is performed uh, three times in a week for three to four hours at a time. Then uh, peritoneal dialysis uh, is a dialysis in which uh, a tube is connected to our uh, stomach as such connected to that uh, in the abdomen called the peritoneum, peritoneum a filter uh, waste and excess fluid from the blood uh, and uh, a sterile solution is introduced into the abdomen where it absorbs waste and excess fluid and then it is drained and replaced with fresh solution. Okay, this is uh, presented here. Uh, it is uh, connected uh, and uh, the dialysis, the solution bag with the sterile uh, solution, it is pumped inside and uh, the urine is collected back. Both the hemodialysis and uh, peritoneal dialysis can affect treat the symptoms of kidney failure but each has its own advantages as well as disadvantages based on the patient's health, patient's lifestyle and uh, the, uh, uh, the preferences of the patients are always considered and uh, it has been uh, uh, implemented. Artificial kidney, artificial kidney, now you know what is the requirement of an artificial kidney. It should take the uh, waste from the blood stream and uh, uh, it should uh, uh, remove the uh, unwanted uh, excess water or excess uh, other substance, fluid substances as urine and the blood has to be purified and passed to the bloodstream. Okay, so this is a representation schematically representing uh, artificial one and we have prototypes now. Already it is there in the market, the prototypes are there in the market and it started uh, replacing uh, with artificial uh, kidney. So one of the prototype is represented, many different types are there, only one of the type is represented here. Uh, so artificial kidney it is a device which is uh, developed to, to mimic the function of a human kidney. The goal of an artificial kidney to provide the more effective and efficient meaning of treating patient with uh, chronic diseases without delaying on the uh, or without uh, relaying on the dialysis or the kidney transplantation. There are currently two main approaches, uh, two main uh, research fields are there in the artificial kidney like the biological approach uh, as well as the technological approach. Biological approach it involves using the living cells such as, such as the kidney cell itself or a stem cell uh, and uh, to create uh, the function and uh, of the implantable uh, kidney. Mimicking as such, uh, taking the same uh, cells present in the uh, kidney and trying to replicate it and uh, create an artificial kidney. The technological approach it involves using the synthetic material such as the silicone or uh, other polymer to create a dialysis device which can filter the blood and remove waste and excess fluid. Uh, it's very important uh, to note that while the development of artificial kidney holds great promise, it's not cure for a chronic kidney disease and patients with the kidney failure will still need dialysis or kidney transplantation in the meantime. That's about uh, this particular uh, topic uh, uh, that is a kidney as a filter system. Hope uh, I given um, the basic idea which we already studied, uh, recalling that one, uh, connecting it to the engineering uh, concept, uh, how an engineer can help out, uh, how an engineer can uh, work along with a biotechnologist or a biology specialist uh, to, to create uh, these type of devices in future in a better way. So that's about uh, this particular chapter, particular uh, class video, Kidney as a Filter System. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel, my intuition. Support me, uh, like the videos, share the videos to others who want to know, who, who are struggling to get this type of uh, uh, study materials. So study material is available in my YouTube channel in the description box. I am keeping the same thing uh, in the PDF form. So once again, thank you very much. Have a nice day.